Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're watching this on Tuesday, then Eurovision semi-final one is today. I'm filming this on Monday because timing, but um, I am going to attempt to predict the qualifiers of semi-final one. Now, I will be doing this for semi-final two as well, but I will be saying <laughs> these are not who I want to qualify. This is who I genuinely think will qualify based on staging, based on what we've seen, and based on fan hype, etc. Um, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to predict exactly, and I am guaranteed to get at least about two wrong. Um, and this is not me going off the betting odds, this is me being completely myself and being exactly who I genuinely think will get through and will, will not. But first of all, let's have a quick recap. Who is in semi-final one? Lithuania, the Rup Discotheque. Let's discotheque right at my home. Um, Slovenia, Anna Soklic, amen. Hallelujah. And Gloria. Um, Russia, Manija, every Russian woman needs to know you're strong enough, you're going to break the walls. Um, Sweden, Tusa, can you hear a million voices? Um, Australia, Montaigne, Technicolor, Teddy Tiny Colour. North Macedonia, Vasil, here I stand. Um, Ireland, Lesley, Roy Maps. Cyprus, uh, Elena, I can never pronounce your name, sorry, Elena. Sagarino, El Diablo, I fell in love, I fell in love, I fell in love with avocado. Um, Norway, takes fallen angel, nai hun er op for bro for mai, she is 40 good for me, except that's not the right translation. Um, Croatia, TikTok, watch the days go with Albina. Um, Belgium, Hoover Phonic, you're in the wrong place, are they? Um, Israel, in the lean, set me free, um, with the iconic whistle notes, Roxon for Romania with self-love amnesia. Um, Azerbaijan, with Effendi, with Matahari. Um, Ukraine, Goe and Shum, and Malta, Destiny, Jimikas, do, 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 and so. Let's get into who my locked qualifiers are. Now, I've put these into groups of five. I have five countries that I am almost 100% sure will qualify. You may agree with me, you may not. This is just genuinely who I think are guaranteed to qualify. Um, first of all, we have Malta. <laughs> I mean, Destiny's vocals carry. There is almost no chance of her not qualifying, and I, I mean, she was a favorite to win, so I can't see this not qualifying. Um, secondly, we have Lithuania, the Rip Discotheque. I feel like they're an iconic opener. People are gonna remember them for their crazy movements, um, all this stuff. They're not gonna be forgotten about. Um, Ukraine, go A. Going second last is a very good position for them and also they're going to be remembered for their crazy staging, for their crazy everything. Um, and Vesenotchka, Vesenotchka, that is about it, uh, is going to be stuck in everyone's head. Um, hopefully. Uh, then we have, well, almost, I'm, it's almost locked for me. We have Russian woman from Ru Russia with Manisha. People are going to remember that dress. That dress is going to be memorable and everyone seems to be going behind Manisha now, which I'm so happy about because I've loved Manisha since the Russian final. So I think she is a locked qualifier. People are going to remember her, her energy, her LEDs, everything. And Cyprus. Um, as much as I don't like the song, it's pretty much guaranteed to go through. Elena is bringing the energy. Um, her rehearsal clip it was apparently one of the best ones, um, according to the press. I don't doubt that she will qualify. Okay, now my predictions. I predict that Australia is going to sneak through. I think that... Um, her song is really good, she is really talented, her, or what we've seen of her performance is incredible, and I've heard that, um, that her, it doesn't even look like she's in a different arena, it actually looks like she is in Rotterdam, um, until the very end. But I do think people will see this and think, oh, this is very interesting, this is very unique. I also do think that Croatia will qualify. <laughs> Um, I think as far as 
the, the I don't know, those um, blue and pink songs go. Albina's, while it may not be my favourite, it does stand out. It is different. It is very catchy. I mean, TikTok, watch the days, go and lose time lost in your play zone. I mean, it, it gets stuck in your head. And I think it will qualify over Israel, even though I love Set Me Free a lot more than I do TikTok. It's just my own opinion. I do think Croatia will qualify though. Um, I think Belgium's gonna qualify. Because Belgium's in a very good place within all of these upbeat songs. And then it's just Belgium, you're in the wrong place. A bit more laid back, very hooverphonic, you know, stage surrounding them. I think Belgium are gonna make it for the difference appeal and also older audiences are more likely to vote for Belgium than something like Croatia. Um, I also think Sweden will qualify. Can you hear a million voices? Now, they've been dropping down, 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 but apparently they went up again today in the um, rehearsals. So I do think Sweden have a decent chance of qualifying, despite me not wanting the song to go through. Tusa is incredible. I love him to qualify, just not maybe with this song, but obviously. They can't change that. But I do think they will qualify. It's Sweden, after all. Um, and his vocals are good. And finally, which is maybe my most risky, I think Ireland's going to qualify. Um, she may have just been not giving everything. And if her staging works perfectly, or close to perfectly, she will qualify. I mean, the song is great, the staging is very interesting, and everyone's gonna go, ooh, this is interesting, never been done before. So I'm hoping that Leslie can do it. And now for the countries that I do not think are gonna qualify. Norway. As much as I love Tix, and as much as I love this song, it would be my number 11, I would guess. Um. It may be getting an influx of votes from Azerbaijan due to obvious circumstances. What? Um, between Tix and Effendi. I do think votes are carrying over from Azerbaijan actually um, and it may push him through but I am not entirely sure of his qualification and I'm not certain about it. Um, Azerbaijan, I, I don't think Effendi will sneak through. This could be their second non-qualification after Cross My Heart. I'm hoping it's, well, I don't know. It is very catchy, but I'm not entirely sure if people will vote for it, actually, in, like, in all honesty. Um, Romania, unless Roxanne's vocals are perfect, I can't see her getting through, despite Roxanne literally being my number three. I can't see it happening. Um, Ru Romania is, is gonna be one of the songs that I love that don't make it through. Um, Israel, and again, Israel's my number 10. As much as I love Aiden and as much as I love it, and I do rank it personally above Croatia um, in to do with my tastes, I can't see it going through um, unless people really connect with it and people really enjoy it on the night. Um, it's going to be tough to decide between Croatia and Israel, and I don't know if people will vote both or will people remember one over the other. It's going to be very hard to tell until we see on the night. Um, then North Macedonia and Slovenia I'm going to rank together. <laughs> I love both of them and I love Amen actually more than Here I Stand. I just see them getting lost in the influx of all of these upbeat songs and if there's a downbeat song to go through, it's Belgium. Um, and I mean that's it really. Um, North Macedonia and Slovenia just don't quite do it. Um, they don't quite live up to the rest of them in a year when everyone is really strong, especially in the semi and this bloodbath. But that is, yeah, North Macedonia and Slovenia aren't qualifying, which really, really upsets me, but um, I'm not, not convinced. But those are my predictions. Um, and I, obviously, there is a very, very, very high likelihood I'll be wrong. I mean, very high likelihood I'll be wrong. Um, but let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me in the comments down below. Keep them respectful, please. Um, but that is all the time I have for today. If you do like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Do all that great stuff. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.